welcome! So today I will be teaching you how to make an ointment or cream out of uh, a plant called uh, Celadonium. In Latin it is uh, Celadonium maius or something like that. Celendium? Anyway, uh, I have this plant here. It grows as a weed in uh, many different places. Um, I managed to find this here in Canada. It also grows in Europe. Um, it has a, it has this uh, juice inside that is very bright orange. You can see there's a little bit of yellow coming out, and that is the uh, part of the plant that has the healing properties. So you can use this plant for different skin conditions. Uh, like dermatitis, warts. Uh, it can also be used internally for various issues, but today we'll, we will be focusing on making a topical ointment using uh, shea butter. Uh, traditionally, uh, pork fat was also used or lard, uh, but we are making a vegan version of it and uh, we will be using shea butter. Uh, so to start, I will uh, cut off all the softer parts, the thinner parts, the leaves. I will leave the harder uh, stems. Before I start, I will put on gloves because it can stain your hands. It has a very bright orange juice inside of the stems and leaves. You want to wash the plant beforehand especially if you picked it up at some dirty road. Um, then you cut off the root parts, uh, the bigger stems. So we will be working with these smaller leaves. So I will begin breaking off the smaller leaves. Okay, so next we will uh, take the leaves and uh, use a mortar and pestle to crush them. I put a tiny bit of oil in the bottom of um, the mortar uh, to make crushing uh, the leaves easier. So I will put it in and start crushing the leaves. I don't have to make them completely mush. I just want to break them down a little bit so that it is easier for me to um, get all the juices out of them once I put them in the shea butter. And here, uh, at the same time, I am uh, using a double boiler to um, uh, turn the shea butter into oil. So it has uh, turned into oil now. So now I have finished crushing up all the leaves. The quantity I had before has turned into this much. Now what I will do next, I will take this mushed up paste of leaves and put it into the shea butter, the melted shea butter. So I will dump it all in there and then I will let this come to room temperature. Tomorrow I will melt up the shea butter again twice and then um, I will strain out the bits of leaf and then my ointment will be ready. So now I have gotten so far that in a double boiler I have um, melted the mixture twice. This is the second time. And now the shea butter has turned into liquid or oil. Now it is ready to strain. Um, I will strain it through this uh, sieve to get rid of the leaves. You can help all the oil go through by pressing the leaves down. You want to make sure you get all the oil out of them. Now the ointment is ready. It is very green as you can see. It is still in oil form. I will now pour it into the little pot that I'm gonna keep it in. Yes, it's a very 
deep green, full of medicinal properties to cure your warts or any dermatitis. So here we have the Celandine Cream. Looks nice and cream green. I recommend use it twice a day and it has a smell of uh, celandine. So try this recipe if you have any issues. Thank you for watching. Bye.